Uh, so I, I live part-time in Germany and, and I was biking a lot uh, in the Alps where I live and, and it's the end of uh, 2016. And I started to get pain when I dismount the bike and I wondered what it was and I eventually, when I came back to the States, I had x-ray for uh, arthritis. There was no arthritis, MRI, and they found a uh, tumor at that point. Proton therapy is a specialized form of radiation therapy that is a little bit more precise in how we are able to deliver this beam of energy. In essence, this allows us to deliver radiation to a target tissue while avoiding radiation exposure to the normal tissues that might be surrounding it. What I tell a lot of my patients is if one thinks about standard radiation therapy, like a shotgun that hits everything in the area, proton radiation is like a target rifle, allowing us to pinpoint the radiation in the area we want to give the treatment to. What that allows us to do is reduce or sometimes eliminate radiation to normal healthy tissues and that translates into less risk of side effects. Well, one of the benefits that, I, that we have here is not only the delivery, the treatment technology, it's the imaging technology, that everything is consolidated in one facility. So not only do I have the most sophisticated proton treatment, I have all the tools I need to plan that treatment and to observe the effects of that treatment. So I have a PET-CC here in the building. I have an MRI and a CT scanner. So all the imaging I could possibly need to evaluate a patient and devise the best treatment plan for him or her is here in the building exclusively for our use and dedicated entirely to the treatment of our patients. You know, people may expect things, maybe it happens to some, but not to me. I didn't feel tired, I didn't feel pain, um, and I felt actually better and better um, every week that I was here. The attraction of using protons as a radiation treatment weapon lies in the fact that they will stop. And what I mean by that is they will stop at a certain point in space and not travel beyond that point. When most people receive radiation, they're treated with x-rays, the same kind of x-rays that we use to take x-ray pictures. And in order to acquire an x-ray picture, the beam has to go completely through the individual. That's also what happens when you do radiation therapy with x-rays. So you treat the bad stuff, but you also treat a fair amount of the good stuff. And we've learned over and over again, you know, the hard way over the last hundred years, that radiation is toxic. It's not a good thing. So by using protons, which stop where you want them to stop, what I'm able to do as a clinician is be far more specific as to where the radiation goes. And in particular, I can do a much, much better job of sparing normal tissue by not treating it versus doing the same treatment with x-rays. When we do proton therapy with pencil beam scanning, in essence, we are recreating a amount of radiation deposit very similar to how you can imagine a 3D printer laying down a print, layer by layer, building up a sculpture. When we use pencil beam scanned proton therapy, we are in essence developing a three-dimensional shape of radiation dose inside a patient's body. And by using these pencil beam uh, magnets, we are able to scan and deliver the dose in very complex shapes that allows us to even better enhance the precision of proton therapy to just target the cancer and the surrounding areas while eliminating or reducing the normal tissue radiation. Well, putting a patient through treatment is only part of their whole treatment, right? The, in some respects, the easiest part is going through their course of therapy. The natural question which everybody has after they complete treatment is, did it work? So we have to have a follow-up plan for everybody to, to figure that out. Did their treatment work or not? And that's done by doing different tests. And it depends upon the diagnosis. You may be doing imaging, you may be doing blood tests, et cetera. But you have to have a plan. So everybody that we see here at California Protons leaves the building with a follow-up plan. How, how often they should be seen, and what type of testing do we recommend? Now that doesn't have to take place here. Certainly that's an option if a person lives nearby or if they want to come back, they're perfectly welcome to. But we realize that for many of our patients, especially those who are traveling from a relatively far distance, that's not practical. So we provide them information to give to their physicians back at home, be it their primary care physician or specialist, saying, here's how we recommend you follow this individual to determine whether or not their treatment has been effective. One of the unique things about California Protons is that the team of physicians here are some of the most experienced people who have utilized proton therapy throughout the world. 
many of us are physicians, we're from one of the first proton centers in the world, and each of us has over a decade of experience, in some cases, a couple of decades of experience treating patients with proton therapy. As there are very many different types of cancers and different stages of how advanced the cancer is in any one particular patient, we encourage anyone with questions to contact the center and we'll be happy to review their charts because it is very much an individual treatment plan for each patient's diagnosis. So at the end of the um, treatment, they ask you to uh, ring the bell and it's done. Uh, you have a bell downstairs um, and uh, there's a beautiful sign there that says life is beautiful and I believe that. And so several people came out from the treatment rooms and the, the, the technologists and from the front desk and reception and so on. And they greeted me and I, I, I told them something which I, I, I really want to say here, which is that uh, this is a place where lives are changed. And I'm very touched by that. Um, of course, having cancer is a very emotional thing, but uh, the people here treated me so well I just I have nothing but the most wonderful things to say about them. They treated me with kindness, uh, and when I drive past here, I blow a little kiss if I'm in the neighborhood because I love this place, and I'm incredibly grateful to how people have treated me here and the treatment I received. I really am.